Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Flyout yet again. It has been a really long time. But today we're going to be building the plane that you might be able to see in the background, depending on whether I've edited it out or not. Um, and essentially this is based on something that I've seen online. Not sure if it was real. In fact, I'm... I'm I'm 100% positive this plane wasn't real, uh, but essentially it's going to have two normal jet engines at the back and it's going to have two ramjets on each wing. It's not going to make much sense, but hopefully we can get it to reach like Mach 3 or something like that. And um, yeah, we're going to go for straight line speed with this one. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? Okay, so the idea behind this was to actually build something based on the picture that you guys seen a second ago. Uh, I think that it reminds me a little bit of, I think it's called the TR2, which was like a British jet that was never really produced properly. Uh, I can't remember what the, what the thing was with that, but it was like a prototype that flew really quickly or was actually quite good. It just looked really, really odd. If I've got a picture of that, I'll put it on the screen right now. But anyway, as you guys can see right here, we are currently building the nose cone of this plane. I wasn't sure how to do this. I thought I was going to struggle with it, and honestly, I feel like I did struggle with it. Uh, and it does end up being a little bit more chunky than maybe it should have been. But honestly, that doesn't look too bad as I'm seeing it right now. I did build this thing about a month ago, so seeing this get built right now is very, very odd. <laughs> it is really, really strange. Anyway, you'll see that I added this little straight piece right here on the back, and that is so that we could actually put the engines in this little piece right here in between. So hopefully we can do that. Um, but it turns out I've managed to change it. Never mind, I changed my mind. That is very strange. Honestly, this fuselage looks pretty cool right now. It looks very streamlined. And I would like to mention, I do want to hit Mach 3 with this plane, but I do want to try and make a plane that reaches Mach 5. And I know there's one of you guys in the comments that keeps asking for an SR-72. Now, I might build something based on the SR-72 and try and hit Mach 5 with that. This plane just isn't very streamlined for that. So um, it just doesn't really work for it. But uh, I think Mach 3 is something that we will actually end up getting. Anyway, right here we are adding engines. I wanted two of them at the back. Now, realistically, now that I think about this afterwards, one engine would probably have been enough. Uh, and then the ramjets would have been able to take over from that. But as it stands, I do think this looks pretty good. And I think it works. And also, it actually works really well with the... Uh, the picture of the plane that I uh, that I was copying from. I say copying. I was taking inspiration from. But um, yeah, I think we did a pretty good job with that. Bam! There we go. So we're adding fuselages over the engines to try and make those fit a little bit better. I do believe I go back to that and I make them way bigger. Like really, really big. Because at the minute, they're actually very, very small. So yeah. Anyway, we're moving on right here to try and do some air inlets. This is going to go straight back to the engines. And hopefully allow that to, I don't know, breathe air, I suppose. But they end up being a little bit too big. Now, I would have liked to do this uh, a little bit flatter in terms of having more square inlets. Uh, but we actually just went with some round ones instead. Because, you know, they actually worked quite nicely. Here's me making the engines bigger to try and fit with the inlets. Doesn't really make sense doing it that way around. But, yeah, I guess we did do it that way around. But there we go. So, they're pushing into each other. They look pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the engines do actually look really good. And then this is me extending it all the way backwards over the back end, where we can then push these guys in. And hopefully that looks good. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this plane, by the way. Whether you think it looks nice, or whether you think it looks horrible. Um, I would like to mention as well, my friend Spanner is into planes and stuff like that. And we were trying to figure out how to make this thing a little bit faster. And what we ended up doing was making it have really, really tiny wings uh, and sorting it out that way. But I'm not sure what would actually benefit or what, what would make this thing benefit from... Uh, or what would make this thing go faster in terms of like changing it a little bit. Honestly, we changed the air inlets as well. So that might be something we go back to doing uh, and changing. But yeah. Anyway, uh, I wanted it so that we could actually see the uh, the inlets of the engines. So this is me trying to make it wider so that we can actually see the fans. Uh, and I do believe we did a pretty decent job with this. So that's me going all the way around. Still having the main fuselage there, but um, yeah, changed a little bit. There we go. The next piece, I believe, is actually going to be the cockpit. So the cockpit on this thing actually ends up looking really cool. And I think we did a pretty good job with it. 
Um, but it does look a little bit strange. And actually, I found it quite hard to actually get to this point as well. But um, yeah, I feel like it does look pretty good in the end. But is it going to look as good as we want it to? Is the question. I'm not sure. I don't know. I moved the entire aircraft backwards so we can fit the pilot inside of there. And now I'm trying to make it so that it is a little bit more sharp. And the sides are a little bit more nice. They're not just boxed off like they normally are. So there you go. That looks pretty good, right? That looks pretty good. Now that I'm looking at this, by the way, I'm thinking maybe a rotation on that would actually work really well. Uh, because the way that I normally do this kind of sucks, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, you can see that the shape is slowly getting there. We are starting to make it look quite nice. I'm squidging it in. I'm squidging it out. We're doing lots of squidging. And uh, overall, I think it actually looks pretty good. This is where I start to add these guys. These, I think, look sick. I think they look really, really cool. These little, like, supports. I think they look really good. Uh, we then add some more across the front. It is a little bit bodged right there, so I tried to fix it. And, um, yeah, I think we've done a pretty good job. I do think that I had to squidge most of it in uh, as well, just to make it look a little bit nicer, because normally these guys are a little bit too chunky and a little bit too wide uh, on the things that I end up building. Um, and I thought the supports were actually a little bit too wide as well. But there you go. That is pretty much the cockpit. And I do think it looks really good. I do. All right, what am I doing here? I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I didn't manage to actually mirror it properly, but there you go. Anyway, don't know what I'm doing in this situation. Uh, I'm making it a lot skinnier, apparently, because it was quite a chunky uh, aircraft. But yeah, what do you guys think of that? I think that's a really sick looking thing. Don't know what I'm doing here. I think this might be the vertical stabilizer. It is indeed. I wanted this thing to be really big because of the thing that I was taking inspiration from. But after talking to Spanner, Obviously, this is just a bunch of drag. So, with us wanting to go really fast, there's no point in this thing being this big. There is really no point in this thing being this big. Because with going fast, having a con small control surface still allows for a lot of control. If you're going fast. Yeah. Anyway, this right here is us trying to put the horizontal stabilizers in. I wanted them on a pivot, uh, so we did. We put them directly on a pivot. And honestly, I think this was a really cool, cool idea. I think it looks really good, and honestly, I think it worked really well as well. But again, they're a little bit too big, and um, that is going to hinder our top speed in the end. Hopefully, we still get to Mach 3, though. I'm hoping Mach 3. I don't know. Is Mach 3 too too much for this thing? I'm not sure. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Um, but yeah, they are a little bit too big. As you guys can see at the back as well, the vertical stabilizer is also massive, so that needs changing too. But this is me adding the wings. So I wasn't going to make them much bigger than this, but then I decided, nah, maybe we should. <laughs> so then I ended up making them a lot bigger than this, which honestly was probably a bad idea. But there you go. That honestly looks really good. That looks really good like that. I might have to change them back to that. Uh, I do think I lower this down a little bit as well because they're actually really high. And I did want to have four jet engines on the wings. So that's a thing. Uh, and then I decided to add this guy to send it backwards into the engines. All right, here we go. These are the ram jets. So I think originally I wasn't sure whether to do just one on each wing or whether to do two. Honestly, I feel like one would do completely fine. I think adding two just isn't that efficient. Um, and I also thought they were a little bit too big. So that's me changing that as well. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it changes, but it doesn't change that much. I then wanted a bit of a casing on this as well. So this is me trying to figure out how big the casing should be. Uh, honestly, it shouldn't really be that big. But at the same time, it shouldn't be tiny. So this is me making it slightly bigger. There you go. Uh, and I wasn't sure how to actually make this fit in with itself, if that makes any sense. Like, it's open at the front and it's open at the back. And I don't think that makes that much sense, to be honest. I also need to decorate this thing as well. So in my head right now, I'm trying to think of paint. I don't know what kind of paint I want to do, to be honest. But um, it does need painting. It does. Do I end up getting rid of this? I feel like I get rid of this thing. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, paint, I feel like because it's based on like a, a British thing, um, I feel like we should maybe paint it white and have it be like an experimental aircraft to begin with. But um, I haven't done pretty much any painting right now. Oh, and this is me adding landing gear. Landing gear is something that I really struggle with in this game uh, or any game actually, because I'm not sure how big to make it. And um, something that we constantly have problems with is actually the balance of this thing. So. That is something that we need to change as well. The landing gear at the back needs to poke out sideways a little bit in order to actually work correctly. Because at the minute, it sucks. 
Um, here's the control surfaces that we are now adding together and adding on here. And then this is me spawning in to see the landing gear. And also a test, apparently. We're doing a test. Yo, know, yeah, there we go. It weighed too much at the back, and that was a massive problem. We still have a problem. Um, it doesn't actually have enough fuel, so that's something that we're going to do together once we get this thing spawned in. We're going to add a massive fuel tank that is going to essentially take up the entire interior of this thing. It's going to be massive. Uh, but this is me adding some fuel balls, because we needed some fuel balls uh, in order to weigh this down. Um, not really the way that I should have weighed it down, because, you know, as soon as that fuel runs out, we'll have issues. But this is me attempting to take off again. And as you guys can see, it leans over to the side, which isn't perfect. But we did manage to balance it out, and it does actually take off and fly, which is um, exactly what you want. But yeah, it runs out of fuel pretty much instantly. If you look in the bottom left, I can't actually see the numbers there, but it was already below half, and we'd just taken off. So clearly that's not very good. But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do more stuff. Okay, so here it is. This is us in the game. There are a few things that I mentioned that needed changing, and one of those was the landing gears. So, let's go ahead and actually do that first, shall we? Let's do this guy off to the side like so. And we're also gonna try and do the angle of it. I don't know how you do that, actually. Is it this? No, it's not this. Uh, direction, roll. Is it roll? No, it's not roll. Okay. This is just for the retraction. That's not what we needed. Um, it is the wheel angle, there we go. So obviously we want the wheels actually pointing downwards, but that should give us a little bit more stability having them go sideways. What else was there that I needed to do? There was something that I definitely needed to do and I can't remember what it was. Uh oh. Oh, I know what it was, I know what it was. So let's go ahead and have a little look at this. Go ahead and copy it and paste it right there in the center if we can. Uh, essentially it is so that we can... Hold on, no, just, just do this one. No, just do this one. It's seemingly attaching to that one as well, and I'm not sure why. What in the world? Alright, no, I- okay. I can't undo anything, but I need to- What is going on? What is going on here? Stop! I can't actually seem to pick it up without picking up the rest of them. That's very strange. Anyway, if we can just uh, delete all of those for now, and we're gonna put in some big old fuel tank. So let's go to fuselage, go to sphere, and we're gonna shove it directly on the top for right now. Good. We're then going to make this thing absolutely massive. So we're going to do something like this. We're then going to do something like this. And we're also going to do something like this to push it out sideways. And then we've obviously got to fit it on the inside. So let's go ahead and lower it down and in. Oh, that's way too big. That is way too big. But yeah, we're going to make it slightly smaller. There we go. So it fits on the inside. And that is going to be our fuel tank. I'm also actually going to go ahead and move it forwards too. Just because I think that'll be cool. Uh, and I actually work really well as well, so push this forwards There we go. Maybe not too far and I am gonna make it skinnier just because yes It is poking out the sides a little bit. So let's go ahead and skinny it up a little bit. There we go. Very nice I'm actually gonna go a lot more than that. There we go and That works. Okay. I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and spawn it in now and see if it'll fly the main issue that we were having before was that um, I didn't really have enough fuel to get to a high altitude to do anything. So what we'll do before we do anything is we'll speed it up slightly, but every ramjet we're going to go ahead and turn off. Okay, so this guy and this guy. This guy and this guy. I need to put in some, like, hotkeys for these, but that's fine for now. So let's go ahead and put these guys all over here, and then let's take off with our normal engines. Here we go. Okay, so currently it says we got 15 minutes of fuel. Clearly 15 minutes of fuel isn't very good. But anyway, let's get it all the way up to a high altitude. Let's go for about 30,000 feet, 35,000 feet. Oh, we need to change that too. They're currently sticking out the floor. Yikes. Big yikes. But yeah, let's get up to like 30,000 feet, something like that. And um, then we'll turn the ramjets on and hopefully they'll help us out. Alright, so in order to do that then, let's go ahead and set current right there. We're going to go ahead and set this to 5, and we're going to set this to something like 12, no, 11,000. 1, 2, 3. Engage. There we go. So it's set to that. We are at 28,000 feet and climbing slowly. We have 16 minutes of fuel left. We've actually got a lot of our fuel remaining. So let's just go ahead and start shoving these on any second now. We're currently at 15... No, okay. Mach 1.2... Let's go ahead and do this, and this, 
and this, and this. And that is all of our ramjets on at about 30,000 feet. Okay. Good, yes. So I want this thing to get to Mach 3. I'm assuming we can do that based on the way that it currently looks. But as I said previously, I think we're going to make this way smaller. Um, the vertical stabilizer. We're going to make the wings a lot skinnier because currently they're very chunky. Uh, and also maybe even smaller as well. In fact, all of them should be a little bit smaller. Yeah. Anyway, what do we got now? Mac 2.2. Oh, this is going well, actually. It's going really well. Look at it. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom this down to there. If we hit Mach 3 with this, I don't think I'm going to be changing all of those things that I just said. Because uh, that is all I want to do with this. I want it to hit Mach 3. But it is working. We also have one minute worth of fuel. <laughs> one point... Yeah, one minute worth of, worth, worth of fuel. That sucks. That is really bad. Uh, the other thing that we could do is try and turn these down. So their throttle is less than afterburner. Um, which should hopefully save some fuel. I guess. But I think it will also slow us down a little bit as well. I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, so our top speed, or our speed right now, is 2.91? Oh, hang on. Do that. Do that. Can we get it up to 3? Can we get it up to 3? Yeah, we could go Mach 3 in this thing. We can go faster than Mach 3. Look at that. Nice. So one thing I would say is it isn't extremely stable. In fact, it's not very stable whatsoever. But it is working. And that's all that really matters. It doesn't really carry enough fuel either. Can we go on the inside? Can we can we see that camera? Why does it always put me in the feet? I don't understand. But yeah, this is so cool. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Oh, we've just run out of fuel. Oh, we're about to run out of fuel. There it is, it's gone. And then once that happens, this thing is just gonna like fall out the sky. But that's okay. Let's get rid of all of these on our screen. Delete them all, there we go. Get out of here, get out of here and get out of here. And just watch it glide. That's cool. That is very cool. Okay, so what do we want to do now? Well, I'm thinking we go to the wings and we at least make those a little bit skinnier, if anything. So go to this guy, go to this one. Uh, actually, close that. There we go. Grab that one and that one, this one and this one. And we're going to make them very skinny, like extremely skinny. We're then going to go to each of these and all of those are going to be very skinny too. It'll just allow it to like slice through the air a little bit better and that is exactly what we want. Okay, good. From there, we're going to go to the rear one as well. Let's go ahead and open the leading edge of this. Grab that guy, grab this guy, and this one, and then each of these as well. Clearly, we need to. And we're going to go ahead and make those skinny. So we're going to do this. There we go. Very skinny. Uh, again, that'll allow it to slice through the air a little bit easier, and that's pretty good. We're then going to do the same thing on this guy down here. I'm not going to make them smaller. I'm just going to make them skinnier. There we go. Grab these guys as well. Nice, and this will allow us to just get to Mach 3 a little bit easier, and that's pretty much all I want. So I'm happy with that. As for paint scheme and stuff like that, I do want to give it a paint scheme, so let me just go ahead and paint it a little bit. Okay, a few minutes of painting later, we're going to go ahead and get this thing into the sky again. Remember, we did actually shrink the, uh, the wings and stuff. We've made them all a little bit skinnier, so we should skim through the air a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. The inlets are a little bit too big still, but, you know, just ignore that. Anyway, let's go! Oh, I accidentally, uh, I don't know, tail strikes. Oh, I need to get rid of that as well, and also, I feel like there's a little bit of a gap here. Yeah, there is. I need to change that as well. Also, this is very loud, so that's why I'm shouting. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and just go straight up into the sky. Space shuttle status, here we go. All right, I'm going to zoom out just so that we don't hear that too much. There we go. All right, we're going to go directly into the sky. Okay, and then once we hit about 30,000 feet, we'll go ahead and turn on the autopilot, and we'll go from there. So set current, yes. This one's to be about 5, this one's to be about 11. 1, 2, 3. And that is it. So we'll get ready to actually turn that on once we're, uh, I guess, a little bit higher. There we go. All right, cool. So maybe even 12. Oh, you know what? Just uh, engage. There we go, we're engaging it. All right, fantastic. It's still going in the right direction. We've slowed down massively and it has gone crazy. Let's hope that it can sort itself out. Otherwise, I'm just gonna... I think something just exploded. What just exploded? My guy! 
this isn't supposed to happen. Disengage. What are you doing? Stop it. Okay, we can we can maybe sort this. Oh no, I think whatever exploded is is actually a big issue. Okay, so um, the other thing that I wanted to do as well is something I can't remember. Oh, it's this. I wanted this to retract inwards a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and we're also gonna try and fix this. So I guess that piece. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and send this in more. I guess, and then send this one in more. And that's it. All right, there we go, fixed. Okay, cool. So, um, let's go ahead and quit out of that. Go ahead and spawn it in again, and we'll do business. It'll work this time. All right, there we go. Look at that. I feel like that does actually look pretty cool. We've got FAF on the side for Frantic Air Force, and I don't know, I quite like it. I'm not very good at painting yet. In fact, I suck at painting in this game. Um, in fact, I suck at painting in pretty much every game, but this is still pretty cool. Uh, I do like the fact that it is, it is working. It looks nice. And we're going up to Mac 3. We're actually probably going to get there again. Uh, I wouldn't mind changing this to be a little bit higher. So let's go with like, I don't know, 14,000 disengage gauge. There we go. So it's going to climb up a little bit further. Uh, and hopefully that will allow it to, I don't know, get a little bit more boost out of this. But I'm hoping for Mac 3. We have hit Mac 3. Um, but I guess the next plane that we actually build, I, I really want to hit Mac 5. That is, that is one of my goals, so hopefully we can do that. But um, yeah, this has actually worked out really nicely. I do think it looks pretty good. Uh, maybe not the paintwork, but the actual plane itself. It's a very interesting design. Um, and yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with it. Yeah. If we had more fuel, I think we'd be able to go way quicker. Because the Ramjets, I think, can go even higher than this. I feel like they can go way higher than this. Um, especially if I modified them, but yeah. Anyway, um, we've hit Mach 3.25 at least, and that's pretty awesome. Anyway, we're about to run out of fuel, so I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this plane, and uh, if you want to see any more. But for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.